extrapolating your true motive. With my instruction, you would be free to court sub, correct? How petty do you think I am? I'm here to help my friend! We were never friends! <laughs> Okay, once we check in on Elias, we'll hit the road, or sky. I'm afraid that's out of the question. His Majesty has not seen anyone presently. Excuse me? We save his tail twice, and he can't even- I know what she was about to say, it's just Eggman making her talk that way. So why is it bothering me so much? I do want to rescue her, I'm sure of it! But what she was about to say, that we were never friends. That really got me. Right, I mean, so. we didn't always get along well. I'll hopefully be able to explain later. After I lost my parents, stories of the legendary Sonic the Hedgehog fighting the evil Dr. Robotnik started popping up. I thought we were meant to be together. But all I ended up was being a nuisance. From then on, I wanted to be a freedom fighter and fight beside my beloved Sonic. I don't blame Sally for saying no, but back then I was just a spoiled brat that didn't understand anything. I finally became older by wishing on the Ring of Acorns, but it didn't make a difference. I still had the mind of a little kid. I wasn't ready! But the ring also gave me the ability to summon my Pico Pico Hammer, and for the first time in my life, I could fight back! Even then, she didn't trust me, though I'm sure she didn't want to admit it. I was still a nuisance to her. Yet. I was mad, of course. But what could I do? She's Princess Sally, leader of the Freedom Fighters. And I'm just plain old Amy Rose. That's what I thought, at least. Over time, she became more convinced I could take care of myself. I was happy, finally being treated like an adult by the princess herself. I thought I was the top of the world. But then... Sonic died. I was crushed. The one who kept me going, the reason I wanted to be a freedom fighter in the first place was gone. I didn't know what to do with myself. And Sally of all people was the one who convinced me to keep fighting, even though she must have been just as heartbroken as me. But when Sonic finally came back, she became desperate not to lose him again. She made a big show in front of all of us, begging him not to fight anymore. And when he refused, she broke his heart. I couldn't believe it! How could she do that to him after everything he's done for us? I felt like everything I ever thought about her was a lie! That she was just a spoiled brat like I used to be! But the more I thought about it, the more I could understand how she felt. He came back after all this time, and the first thing he did was get himself hurt. After losing him once, she didn't want to go through it again. Even though she's a princess, she's still a person. She's not perfect. She makes mistakes like all of us. And soon after, I finally became a freedom fighter. She finally accepts me as a strong and independent woman. And I was so happy. It was then I knew I could finally forgive her. We were finally friends! Ever since then, I've been a part of all kinds of missions. It was always tough, but I never regretted it. One time, Sally and I even had to rescue Sonic all by ourselves. It didn't go exactly as planned, but I was still proud of how far I'd come. All because of her! But then, Sally sacrificed herself to save all of us and became Eggman's slave. She may be giving us a hard time, but I know we can save her! No matter what Eggman programs her to say, the real Sally is our friend, and we won't stop until... Hey, Amy! Huh? What? Uh, what are you daydreaming about? It's time to get moving. Sorry, Sonic. I guess I'm just a little tired. Well, we don't have time to rest right now. We have to hurry and catch up to the Death Egg again so we can rescue Sal. Yeah, you're right. We'll get her back for sure this time. That's right! It's not just me! All of us are working together to save her! I don't have time to feel sorry for myself! Just hold on a little longer, Sally! We're on our 